Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm gonna to give you five Middle Eastern fragrances that'll make you smell like a boss. So let's jump into it. All right, so today we got ourselves a tag video and I was challenged to come up with five fragrances they're gonna leave you smelling like a boss, specifically Middle Eastern fragrances. I was tagged by my man, Gerard George. His link is down in the description to his channel. Go watch his videos, go like, go subscribe, tell him Post Cologne sent ya. We got five fragrances here, five from Middle Eastern houses, and these are all gonna leave you smelling like a boss. Nice variety of fragrances here, hopefully something for everybody. So let's quit screwing around, let's get into it. All right, so kicking things off, we're going to the house of Swiss Arabian with Swiss Arabian's Mutamayaz. I can scoop this bad boy up for $22 at various discounters. I'm gonna link down in the description to all the fragrances I mentioned in this video if you decide you wanna check any of them out. Awesome, kind of barbershop style of twist of fragrance, very clean, very masculine, has these nice kind of green sweet accords working in there, some nice spices and a nice kind of masculine wood base to it. It opens up with this really nice sweet orange and this pine. Has that kind of citrus sweetness, but it also has kind of like a candied orange sort of vibe, but it mixes with this kind of green, sharp, spicy pine that has like a little touch of this balsamic sweetness in it. Really nice kind of mix of those sweet accords that come through. Gives it that kind of luxurious style of scent accord to it. And then you get these nice rich spices that comes through. This clove that moves forward, a little bit of cardamom, you get some cashmere wood that kind of adds to the richness of the spices in the heart of this. And you also get some nice light airy cedar that comes in, forming like a nice masculine base. As this gets to the dry down, you get a little bit more vetiver pokes through, you get some musk that comes through, and a little bit of a powdery texture, some warmth coming in from some amber. In the end, it's just like a luxury bar of soap. It's just clean, green, masculine. One of those kind of barbershop twist fragrances that's got a little bit of a playful edge to it, but it's still for a man that wants to be taken seriously. Really kind of mature but modern sort of vibe going on to it. Excellent, excellent scent profile on this. Definitely something you can wear to the office, give off those boss vibes. Performance on this, six, seven hours of longevity and projection for the first hour and a half is pretty good before it does settle back in. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for kind of a nice office fragrance to give off that kind of dapper, classy seriousness. Definitely worth checking out. Swiss Arabians, Mutamayaz. All right, next up, we're going to the house of Afnan, and it's Afnan's Rare Carbon. You can scoop this bad boy up for about $30 at various discounters. This one's got a bit of a hype in the community, and rightfully so. This is a Tom Ford ombre leather clone dupe inspired by. Let me tell you, this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance and pretty close to that Tom Ford ombre leather. This opens up with a really nice kind of sweet, soft, leathery sort of vibe has that kind of classy new wallet leather sort of smell to it and it has this really nice sweet accord that goes into it. There are some like rose and violet notes that are listed in here giving it that soft florally sweetness sort of vibe but it comes across as kind of like a red berry raspberry sort of note even though that is not listed in this fragrance. Really has that kind of fruity sweetness that's up top mixing with that really soft leather and that kind of floral softness that's in there. Absolutely a beautiful dapper style of leather. Very, very similar to that ombre leather style of leather, that, that classiness, that softness that works through. As this kind of develops, you still maintain that kind of fruity sweetness and that soft leather, but you do get a little bit more spice moving through. You get some nutmeg, some cinnamon, and a little bit of kind of spicy, light, airy cedar that works in. It does play in the background behind that leather, behind that kind of fruit and floral sweetness, but it is there kind of giving it that masculine base, giving it a little touch of kind of earthy greenness and a little bit of warmth that comes through from those warm spices. Beautiful scent combo on this, and as you get to the dry down, a little bit more wood start to poke through, kind of forming that base. You get a nice creamy sandalwood that kind of plays with that soft leather really really nice beautiful fragrance this has got that class that sophistication that dapper James Bond in a leather jacket boss vibe sort of going on to it a man to be taken serious it has that kind of smell of the money sort of vibe going on to it performance on this is fantastic I get eight hours of longevity no problem and projection for the first two three hours does push pretty good before it does settle back in Bang for your buck, this is an awesome leather fragrance and a pretty good clone of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Has a little bit of additional sweetness with that kind of berry sweetness I mentioned from the Tom Ford, but it has a very, very similar soft leather note that goes on with that one. Beautiful fragrance, definitely worth checking out, especially if you want to smell like a boss. That's Afnan's Rare Carbon. All right, up next, going to the house of Armoff, and it's Armoff's Futura La Home. I can scoop this bad boy up for about $30, $40 at discounters when you can find it. This can be a little bit tricky to find. It does sell out. They don't really restock this all that often, but I did find it. Link down in the description if you decide you want to check this one out. This one is 
sort of a twist or a dupe of kind of several fragrances I find. Valentino Womo Intense, Prada Lome, and apparently Dior Ohm 2020. I have not smelt the Dior Ohm, so I can't confirm, but this does give off that kind of Prada Lome sort of vibe, that, that Valentino Womo Intense, that really kind of clean, fresh, soapy, powdery iris style of fragrance. Opens up with a note of bergamot and lavender. That bergamot gives it kind of a nice, clean brightness to it, a little bit of tartness going on to it, but it does dissipate fairly quick and it gives a front stage to that lavender, little kiss of sage, and that iris note that comes through. So this lavender is very fresh, very clean, very aromatic, and that iris that comes through is a very powdery, soft, gentle floral style of iris, similar to what you would find in Prada Lome. So it has that kind of soapy, clean, fresh, aromatic nature to it. Absolutely beautiful, it gives you that cleanness, that freshness, that soapy sort of vibe. Very unintrusive, very unoffensive, perfect for the office. As this develops a little bit more, you get this coffee note that kind of works in. So it adds this kind of gourmand sweetness to it. Not overbearing, this is again, more aromatic, more iris and lavender forward. But in the background, you have this coffee note, this roast coffee note that plays in there. Adds a little bit of nuttiness to it, has this almost sort of chocolatey vibe that goes into it. So it adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of depth to it. Just a little pinch of sweetness that goes in there. Beautiful, beautiful kind of pop of gourmand flavor to this. But again, you're still working with that really powdery, soapy sort of vibe to this. And in the dry down, you get a little bit more of kind of light, airy cedar coming through, a little bit of vetiver, an amber, kind of accentuating that kind of powdery texture to it, giving it a little bit of warmth. But through and through, this is a fresh, aromatic, clean style of soapy fragrance that is absolutely perfect. Gives that boss vibe, like a man who's put together, who has his, his stuff in order, fresh out the shower sort of vibes going on to this. Beautiful, powdery, aromatic fragrance that's just gonna make you feel clean all day long. Performance on this, I get about six hours of longevity and projection is moderate for about an hour and a half before it does settle back in. So performance is good, but it's not great. And for an office fragrance, that's perfectly okay. Awesome, awesome fragrance. Like I said, it gives you that clean, boss, man to be taken serious, classy sort of vibe. Definitely worth checking out. That's Armoff's Futura La Home. All right, up next, going to the house of Mason Alhambra. And it's Mason Alhambra's The Tux. I can scoop this bad boy up for $25, $30 at various discounters. And if you want to smell like a classy, dapper, refined gentleman, this is the way to go. Mason Alhambra's Kismet for Men, very, very similar scent profile to this. I went with The Tux because this one's a little bit warmer, has a little bit more patchouli comes through, but we're splitting hairs at this point because they're both very, Amazing, gentlemanly fragrances. Smell like money. Opens with this absolutely beautiful spice medley of some black pepper, a little bit of coriander perhaps mixed in there. Has a nice kind of amber, rosy sort of vibe going on in the mid, so it has this kind of warmth, this soft floral sweetness working in there. Has this kind of like almost kind of some sparkling nature to it as well. So it gives it a little bit of a sharpness that adds to that kind of spice accord. So there's like this sharpness, but yet soft sort of edge going on to it. And in the dry down, you get this beautiful, creamy, soft vanilla that's kind of drizzled on this nice, warm, earthy style of patchouli. Absolutely gorgeous scent profile. The way that the spices come together with that vanilla, with some of the kind of that warm, ambery woodiness, as well as that patchouli note, absolutely fantastic. Like I said, refined, sophisticated, gentleman vibes going on. Like a man to be taken serious, boss level sort of vibes going on to this one. Absolutely gorgeous, worth getting your nose on. Performance on this, about six, seven hours of longevity and the first hour and a half of projection is moderate before it does settle back in. So this is a very kind of alluring, sexy, classy style of fragrance. It's going to draw people in. They are gonna to wanna to smell you because it has that kind of soft, sweet core, but with that sharp, spicy edge to it. Beautiful scent profile on this. If you haven't checked it out, absolutely worth it, especially for the price point. That's Mason Alhambra's The Tux. All right, last. Certainly not least, we got one from the House of Latafa. It's Latafa Pride's Alarique Silver. You can pick this bad boy up for $30 at discounters, and anyone familiar with this fragrance right now is going just like, what? This isn't a boss fragrance. You can't wear this to the office. You are correct. You should not wear this to the office. This is a very edgy, bold, masculine, rugged raw style of fragrance, and anybody that wears this is gonna be taken seriously because this has one of the most unique, complex, biting, sharp style of leathers I've ever come across. Opens up very interesting as well. Very aggressive opening to this, a very, very bold, very, very strong style of opening, but it has this really kind of interesting apple cardamom lavender combination. You mostly get this apple cardamom, so it has this kind of 
green apple, sort of like a tart sweetness with that cardamom mixing in there. So it gives it this like desserty apple turnover sort of vibe, but that is like tucked behind this very aggressive leather that comes forward. Not your typical ombre leather, velvet oud, rare carbon style of leather, that soft sort of leather. This is an old aged, rugged cowboy leather jacket sort of vibe going on to it. There's some cypress that's mixed in there, some tobacco that's mixed in there. Also a little bit of oud, it's really tucked in the background, so it doesn't have that Middle Eastern vibe of a fragrance, it, a little hint of it, but if you're kind of wary of Middle Eastern fragrances or oud of any sort, this is tucked so far back that it's really hard to notice. Just kind of adds a little bit of kind of a, a small signature to this is like, hey, I'm a Latafa. But what you really get is that cypress, that tobacco, and that really forward leather fragrance. Has this greenness to it, has this kind of warmth, has this kind of snap to it. So it's got this really sharp edge to it, has this kind of bite to it. But again, it has that sweet accord from that apple and that fresh spicy cardamom at the very opening. And as you get to the dry down, it does tone down just a little bit. The jasmine kind of softens the edges just a little bit so it's not as bold and as aggressive. Still very bold, still very aggressive, but a little less so because of that jasmine. And you also get some vanilla that works in there. So it adds some additional sweetness, kind of smooths things out a little bit. But in the end, this is a very, very, very leather style of fragrance with that green sharp bite to it. Absolutely beautiful. Has that kind of cowboy, you're a, you know, the boss at a ranch, blue collar boss, foreman on the job site, court and vibe to, to it. You don't need to be in the office to be the boss and this is an a, alternative to those, those clean, soapy, fresh, barbershop style of fragrances. This is another form of a boss fragrance. Anybody's gonna be taking you serious when you are wearing this one, especially with the performance on this one. Eight, 10 hours of longevity, no problem. And this pushes off really hard for the first two, three hours before it does settle back in. So beast mode performance, beast mode scent profile on this. Edgy, masculine, manly man, sort of boldness going on to this. Definitely worth checking out. That's Latafa Pride's Alaric Silver. All right, so there you have it. That's five fragrances that are gonna make you smell like a boss, the Middle Eastern edition of this tag video. And because this is a tag video, I gotta tag a couple bosses myself. So I'm gonna tag my man, Destined for Greatness, awesome dude, awesome channel. Link will be down in the description to go check out his channel. Go like, go subscribe, tell him Post Cologne sent you. And I'm also gonna tag the big boss himself, Ross from TLTG Reviews. Needs no introduction, absolutely fantastic channel. Been following him for a long, long time. And he's such a good dude, like supportive of small channels like myself. From the very beginning, he's just shown support and got nothing but love for Ross as well as Destined for Greatness. So go check out both their channels. Like I said, links will be down in the description. And I wanna hear from you guys. What is one of your favorite boss fragrances? Comment down below, let me hear from you guys. I love your different hidden gems, scent profiles, all that jazz, appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.